Okay, so we're gonna do a couple quick layout things here, one with tables and one with uh, just changing the CSS. So let's say you're doing a quick section here and we're on our demo site, we wanna have a little area where we're gonna have some album reviews, okay? So I'm gonna bring in an album cover and then I wanna have a review next to it. So I'm gonna use an image that I already have, all right? Just to save time here. Alternative text, you guys know the story. Always get something good in there. Flock of seagulls, have your website name. Make sure you put something in there, okay? Then next to it, I want to have an album review. And I start typing. And, you know, it's going to turn out that I just start typing. And if I pulled off and I want some uh, lipsum orum text, I just need some text to put in there to show you guys what I'm talking about. Let's just find any album review. Actually, we could find a flock of seagulls one pretty fast, I'm sure. So I just need enough to go past the size of the picture just to show you what, what how you can fix this, okay? So awesome. Look at all this text. And look at even, to be more specific, how the text goes around the picture there, okay? This is what I'm going to show you a couple different ways to fix. So we've got this album review. All right, and if we go into live view, you see that it's going to look like this. You're going to get there, and you're just going to see a bunch of text, and it just sits right next to the picture. So you waste all this space. And people have already asked me about this a few times, so I'll show you a couple different ways to fix this. Uh, first one is with the use of tables, which we've talked about a bit. Um, so if I just, for example, went right before the picture, entered down a line, went to insert table, and I inserted a table with run, one row but two columns. You can see I've just done this recently. Okay, you could take this graphic and put it on the one side of the table and then take all this text and put it on the other side of the table. And then kind of stretch the table out so you're actually using the space you have. Right, and then you get a situation where you do have, okay, the, the text next to the picture. And then you can set it up so you can go into the table and you can align the picture to the top or the side or whatever, but you're still wasting space. You're still wasting a fair amount of space on the top and the bottom of the picture. So the, ideally, the best thing to do is to get the picture right in the text. So a good example of where to use a table is where you don't have as much text and it is a little quicker. So on Andy's site here, if we went to um, rental, okay, they do rent bikes, and this was a nice simple way to have this information and this information just side by side. I just stuck it in a table just to lay it out better. So there's a good per, uh, reason to use tables. Here you see in our example that we have enough text that it really doesn't help us to use the table. Okay, so let's try another way. Let's try and format it so that the picture is set up so that it actually has the text go around it. So what you can do is create a class style so that the image aligns left or right and the text has a bit of a buffer and stuff like that. So when you see that site I showed you that my dad did, I'll bring it up really quick to show you what I mean. So when I go here, instead of the picture doing there and wasting all that space, and this is how you can set up one-off styles too. If you want your text to look different just on one page, you add a class style. Okay, and we have talked about this, but I'm just showing you a nice reason you would actually want to use it now. So um, here, I did it here with this picture. I didn't want to waste that space, so I got it in with the text, okay? So you see, I have a class style applied called right, okay? So when I go to the right style, um, it, there's not much to it. You can see there's no background change, there's no block change. When I get to uh, box, all I did was make it float right. And that's pretty much it. And then in border, I actually added a border too. And you can add a, an invisible border, but that adds a bit of space around it. I think it's kind of cool to add a bit of a border to the pictures as well. It makes them look nice. So you can put that in the class too. So let's do that same exact thing um, in our demo site here. Uh, let's go plus, and we're going to make a class. So we're going to go over here and call it uh, class. So we can apply it anytime we have a picture and we want to do this. And we can make one for right and left if we want to have them bounce back and forth. Let's just do this one and call it uh, right image. Or image right is even, okay, is an even easier one. And then I just click OK because right here, I've, I'm, it's already default to put it into my style sheet, okay? Click OK. Go right here to box, have it float left, 
and then go to border and choose some kind of cool looking border. So let's go, um, let's go with a double line border and then just pick a color off the site that will contrast against the yellow. So I click okay and nothing happens. Now why did nothing happen? Because I, I, I now have to apply the class to whatever item I wanna use it on. So I click on the image to highlight it. I go to class and even though I haven't saved my file yet, it should be there image right and there you go. Okay, now I need to kind of refresh it for it to clean itself up there. Um, so you can see here the text is going over it a bit. Okay, it's not quite as clean as I want it. So then what you could do is start adding, um, adding more space around it to actually have it so that the text doesn't do that. Okay, or you could just put it in a different spot if you enter, if you do one more hard enter, because I think, I think that was actually the reason that was happening was because it was in um, the middle of a paragraph break. So, but I still would like to see a little more space around the edge. So even though I've already uh, applied the style, I can double click on the class and start to give it a bit of a buffer. Now, how would I do that? Just go into box and give it some padding, right? So you could do it all the way around or you could just do the, the right and the left. So let's give it like uh, 10 on the right, 10 on the left. Right, let's go all the way around. Then we have it on the bottom too, okay, and apply. And then you get that padding like that. So then it looks just a little cleaner. You could see though that the, that just padded the picture, the borders came out to the edge. So if I wanted it the other way, I could use margins instead. So there's an easy way to kind of set up a better layout. Okay, and those are pretty much the only things I wanted to show you live today. All the 